Assalamu alaikum hello friends welcome to planning p6 today we will learn in this tutorial we will discuss how to establish predecessor successor relationship and link activities or relationship types how the relationship types will work in primavera p6 what is the lags or negative lags or lead filters for the specific relationship type and assign or remove the multiple relationships from the primavera p6 what is relationship relationships are the logic ties or network connectors that hold the activities in a project network diagram predecessor and successor activities are tied logically to represent the real task sequence in work schedule how to assign the relationships in primavera p6 so let's review the basic terms of the relationships what we are using suppose the predecessor activity the activity that control the start date of the following activity or activities successor activity the activity that is controlled by the predecessor or activities what is lag lag is a delay of the successor activity that that the successor activity cannot start right after the end of the predecessor activity because the lag is pushing the activity suppose you are giving the two days three days four days lag it will be a gap between the activities so what is the lead or negative lag lead means the beginning of the successor activity before the completion of its predecessor in primavera p6 there is only option of the lag either you are using the positive lag or negative lag suppose your negative lag is is a bad practice which we are using over there if it is necessary then you can use it otherwise please ignore it while you are doing a relationship or preparing a schedule basically there are four types of the relationship fs finish to start ss start to start ff finish to finish and then very confusing start to finish the finish to start relationship is the most commonly used relationship type if the number of finish to start relationship increases in the project the detail and the quality of the schedule may increase it is a good idea to limit the start to start and finish to finish relationship to create more effective work schedule start to finish relationship type can be used under extreme situations or you have only one option while you are connecting the milestones with each other there is a only one option start to finish we will also learn wh what is the reason behind this so the primavera p6 driving relationship drive the start and finish dates of the activity the relationship can either be driving relationship or non driving relationship in primavera p6 driving relationship specify the start date of the successor non driving relationship do not specify the start date of the successor we will also explain during the tutorial that how we can add and see the driving activity so let's move forward to the primavera p6 and excel then we will do one by one assign these all tasks so here i have opened the primavera p6 i have created a one sample project over there added with the name of the relationship types just add four or five activities okay finish add once more okay add okay do not show the wizard okay finish add okay add add activities how many you want just give the name a b c c then d e f g h i j k you can give 1 2 3 whatever your activity name l so here you can see all activities uh, have the duration of the 5 days let's start the relationship if this relationship tab is not there just customize from here customize from here okay relationship 
here is a successor here is a predecessor we will assign the predecessor of the activity a first of all we will go for the finish to start so predecessor for activity b is activity a okay now you can see here automatically is assigned one relationship here i also have the column of the driving if you don't have just assign from here search here find for the driving and then add here over there so here finish to start you can see here finish of the predecessor activity is start of the successor activity it means the activity is starting after the finishing of the activity a so this is the finish to start activity why it is going ahead from the there is no lag because of the calendar of the project there is calendar has been assigned for the five days working that's why it is going ahead from that so activity we will see the other relationship we will assign the activity b as a predecessor and change the relationship types both we will go for the start to start relationship you can see here now activity b and c are starting together if i increase the duration here you can see it will remain same the start will be the same on the same date but the duration is different now we will assign for the activity d and change the other relationship types the, the that types are very easy so i will assign activity c as a predecessor of the activity d so here i will change to the finish to finish you can see here if i increase the duration for that activity more than this six then it will the finish will remain same the activity start will change suppose i will do here the eight days you can see here the activity start before but the finish is pushed by the relationship type finish to finish is same so if i go for the activity e and the most confusing relationship we are going to assign it means here finish to start we will do it start to finish the start to finish relationship is is that the activity finish date suppose the activity we can do it by the five you can see here the finish of the successor activity is depends on the start of the predecessor activity it means the finish is controlled by the predecessor it is illogical that the successor can control the predecessor activity in the primary graph six thus finish of the successor activity is controlled by the predecessor activity if i give here the lag of the lag of two days you can see here the activity will the finish will move forward if i give the negative lag it means it will complete before the start of the one day or two days activity if i give here the minus one day you can see here the activity will finish before the start of the predecessor activity. If I give the one day lag in positive, you can see the activity will finish after the start of the predecessor activity, activity D. This is how the relationship types are work in Primavera P6. This is the most confusing relationship type start to finish. People are thinking that the predecessor is driven by the successor activity, which is illogical now you can see here the finish of the successor activity is controlled by the predecessor activity start so now we will go via the option here if the task dependent activities you can see all four types of relationship is available in the milestone activities if i add here change the activity type here to the start and finish milestone here okay here also i will change the activity type to the finish milestone we have added these two milestones now if i assign the activity f to the relationship with the activity e if i assign here assign this is start milestone you can see here finish to start and start to start relationship is available so we can assign the start to start relationship that this milestone will start are completed while the activity predecessor activity will start so if we assign the finish milestone we will assign any of activity suppose we will choose not the milestone activity again the activity d okay you can see here the only finish to finish and start to start start to finish relationship type is available this is because of one activity is task dependent and one activity is milestone activity only you have two option either you will assign the start to finish or finish to finish we will go for the finish to finish for the best practices so finish to finish now you can see here 
the finish to finish has been assigned what if if the we are assigning the relationship be between two milestone either it is start to start or to other activity i am changing to start and finish milestone suppose we will assign here the relationship between activity h and f here both are the start milestone activity h and f we can assign here h and f you can see here the h and f both are the start milestone you can see here only start to start option is available so if i give here the i is also milestone finish milestone if you see here the finish milestone and i am signing with the finish milestone only finish to finish option will be available g is a finish milestone you can see here only finish to finish relationship is available you have to use it is mandatory by the prime mover basically there is no other option you have to use this relationship type only so here now if we assign the relationship between the both suppose this is h and i start and finish relationship there is only one option will be available if i assign here suppose here assign another relationship i h is a start milestone and finish milestone you can see here only one option is available because one is start milestone and one is finish milestone you have to choose the start to finish option and you can now see the driving how the driving you works the activity is driven by this activity g not h if there are too many activities maybe possibility two or three activities which has the same start date and you have assigned the start to finish or finish to start or finish dates are same maybe two or three activities are driving at the time to the activity activities so don't get confused for that reason that activities are driving two or three there are only one activity no the activity maybe the 10 activity are on driving when you will update the schedule it can be changed to the two three or four activities or single activities driving are like that so now we will go for the how we can assign the filters maybe we can just say here the two or three activities start to start and here we can say it start to start and then this other start to start just because of the filter we will going to create a filter for that one you have the option here in the view for the filter filter by a right click simply go to the filters here the filters we will add a new filter for the relationship types or relationship relationship types whatever you want to do it relationship types 00 i will just assign here the name where here if you want to add here the columns of the activities predecessor details and successor details is okay or you can find here you can just find here predecessor if you want to see from the predecessor activity predecessor details is contains the value if you we want to see start to start okay okay if you want to highlight the activities you can highlight the activities from here apply you can see here now the activities are containing the start to start in the predecessor you can see here start to start start to start start to start activities are there if we change that same filter or create a new filter we just go for the modify here modify and we want to change contains the finish to start value okay check it apply only one activity is containing the finish to start whatever activities if you have thousands of activities and you want to see the activities contains that you want to change the relationship type you can use that filters create the filter easily and now you can change the relationship type whatever changes are required over there you can do it with this activity type now the selected activities is one or two if i go for the start to finish activities again modify and i will just say here start to finish you can also add one more for the successor detail as well and contains some values you can create more filters by this way apply you can see here only one activity contains the start to finish here so that activity is there you can highlight the activities from the filters column here if you check here i will modify here to start to start start to start okay and check here apply apply you can see here now now the highlighted activities are there okay the activities are highlighted before there are four or five activities whatever they are containing so now remove the filter this is the way how we can 
filter the activity relation by the relationship type so here now suppose we have the activities with the wrong wrongly we just apply here suppose the link activities mistakenly the link acti activity we click and we don't have the copy we are working on it and we want to remove the some activities suppose four activities relationship or the entire ws or for the whole project how we can remove the predecessors or successor from the activities how we can remove it now we will do experiment so here suppose we want to remove these five, four activities relationship up to d here and we want to remove the predecessor not successor only predecessor we want to remove it the relationship between that one and successor will be also those activities will be also deleted suppose up to the we have to open from here assign this window will be wizard will be shown here and also we will select by pressing shift and select those activities and then come here to this window and control a after the control a or select those all relationship just delete the relationship yes see here until this will be invisible so still the for the some activities relationship is remains so click doubly now you can see here this is invisible here and also you can see here if i go here for the activities there is no relationship remains so for the d successors are there because we have removed up to the d and predecessor if we remove if we want to remove for the all activities just select by pressing shift and then come here select those all and remove by the same way until invisible sorry invisible here so now you our relationship has been removed from the r schedule you can do for the one activity two activities five activities for the special wbs you can remove multiple relationships at once as you desired by this way this is how we can use the removing relationships as once for the wbs for the complete enterprise project structure or for the some special activities where we want if we want to if we want to suppose this is now control z i'm doing control z the relationships are there now we want to remove only by the filter start to start relationship we will what we will do here modify this start to start okay okay select that that activities and now select those activities sorry open the tab here now we want to remove for only these these activities relationship just go there select all by pressing shift or control a remove those activities relationship okay until the invisible with the same method now those activities relation with ship has been removed now we can see here apply and okay other all relationships are there only the specific activities with the start to start is has the re relationship removed the activities are selected with the filter the relationship has been removed over their activity e and maybe some other activities there are three activities which relationship has been now removed hopefully this tutorial is helpful you people please like share and comment on our tutorials thanks for watching allah hafiz